Good morning. Time for Morning Devotions Live. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School. Had a little bit of a glitch this morning uh, with the first attempt that got deleted, so here I am back again. You'll notice I'm in a sling. I have uh, tendonitis in my rotator cuff, so I've been uh, wearing a sling to limit the movement of my shoulder so that it gets healed up. Thanks for your prayers and concerns. This morning's text is Isaiah 55:11, where the prophet talks about and is actually uh, giving God uh, God's word about uh, when rain and snow come, they uh, do what they're supposed to do. They water the earth and bring forth uh, fruit and vegetation. And then the Lord says, So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth, that shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Isaiah 55, 11. And here in uh, Hawthorne Woods in Lake County, Illinois, McHenry County, Illinois, we have had a lot of rain over the last couple weeks and uh, flooding on the Fox River and the Des Plaines River and the weather forecast isn't looking so good either. For this coming weekend, we're going to have more rain, uh, more flooding. Please keep us in your prayers. Uh, I know Lutheran Church Charities is on the scene helping out and all the churches in the area are, are doing what they can to help out and provide relief and especially prayers for those affected by the floods. But it is something that uh, the, when the rain comes, it can remind us of God's goodness. Even though flooding and damage are occurring right now, we do remember that God will not destroy the entire earth by flood water. That doesn't mean localized flooding won't happen, but at least we have that promise. But it, uh, the rain also reminds us uh, of the, the proficiency and the sustainability of God's word and how it sustains us. Martin Luther said this, Rain and snow are not useless. But they water the earth, giving seed to the sower. The rain can achieve everything for the earth. When we experience the absence of rain, we see what the earth produces. So he takes away the glory of the earth and shows that it is not the earth that does it, but that it is accomplished by the rain. So our building and promotion of the church is not a result of our works, but of the word of God, which we preach. Martin Luther's words, and this reminds us that in and of ourselves, we don't do anything. It is God's holy word that gives us the power to accomplish that which God has given us to do. And so when we think about the church, we are watered by the word of God. The rain and the snow can help us remind, help remind us that God's word does provide for us and gives us the power to bring other people the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are one of the, uh, we are in that place now uh, in between rain uh, falls here in Lake County, Illinois, and St. Matthew, that we're reminded of when the rain comes, God's word is there with us. When the sun shines, it is God's blessing to us. All things should remind us to give glory to God. So let's pray about that. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I pray that your word will continue to accomplish your purposes among us and around the world, namely to forgive sin and bring people into everlasting life. Teach me to hold your word sacred and gladly hear and learn it. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Talking about rain now, and we're in July right now, but I figure in five months it will be in the week before Christmas. I'll probably talk about this again with snow on the ground, so remind, I'll re remind you of that. Uh, keep that in mind uh, when Morning Devotions Live comes back in five months. Uh, that uh, maybe behind me will be a bunch of snow and we'll talk about the same type of thing. Uh, the devotion that this has come from in more detail is found uh, in the links in the comment section below, or will be in a little bit. And I have a picture there, a couple pictures actually, you'll see where the devotion is uh, after a snowstorm of myself and my mother. And you'll notice my mother is smiling profusely. And the reason she's smiling is because she no, no longer lives here where it snows. She lives in, Cal in uh, Florida. Uh, where the sunshine and the oranges grow, and uh, so she's very happy that she doesn't have to deal with snow anymore. Uh, but uh, you can find that uh, devotion uh, in the comment section below in just a little while. Thanks for joining me today. I pray that God will richly bless you. I'll be back again Monday morning for more Morning Devotions Live. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky, St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School. Come worship with us this weekend, Saturday at 5.30, Sunday at 8 and 10.45. Have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Please continue to pray for those affected by the floods here in the Midwest, and we'll be back again Monday.